Hey everyone, welcome to 17th basic JavaScript video in which we're going to cover off with the cover switch cases, switch case in JavaScript and see how it's different from if else. So let's say you have um, a lot of cases to check. In that case, it's usually preferable to go for switch case. I'm not going to go into performance and stuff, but it's more like one of the reasons is that it's more appealing to eyes right so anyway let's just start with what switch case is so switch case is basically starting off with switch inside these curly bracket parenthesis your condition to check um, brackets and obviously it's bothering me so let's just name it condition only here what you have is that this, this is not really a condition, this is an expression, I should rather say. And we're going to say if this expression is uh, um, case 1, something, if this is something else, if this is something else, else, the else block is this, right? So let's, let's see how this works. I'm going to write, um, let my age is 20, and I'm going to write switch my age. That means... We're gonna work on my age now. I'm gonna say case if it is 20. I'm gonna say well console.log your um I don't know your 20. Anyway, if it is 21, I'm gonna console.log your 21. In any other case, I'm gonna say console.log you are neither 20 nor 21 now there's a catch with switch case and that is if i save this you would see that not only we get your 20 but we also get your 21 and you're neither 20 nor 21 well why is that well before that i just want to switch this to 21 and see what's the output now we get you're 21 and you're neither 20 nor 21. Before even explaining you that, why that's happening, I'm going to transfer this case statement from here to here and hit save. Now you can see again we get all three outputs. Well, what the heck is happening here? All right, let's see how switch case would uh, eventually appear to work like. You have switch of my age, here it is 21, it sees 21 as the case. It prints this. Now, what happens is that switch case is a falling statement. By that, what I mean, once it's matched its case, it will keep falling down unless it, the block exits. Now, well, that sounds like a very weird behavior, but that comes kind of handy a lot of times. For example, let's say you want to have a case, a similar case for 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So you can place just like that and you're done, right? So if your age is 17, it will fall down to 21, print this statement. If your age is 20, it will fall down to this, print this. But what if you don't want to fall it down beyond 21? For that, what we have is a break statement. So break, once you encounter this break statement, it will take your control directly outside the switch block. So we can write break at both the sides, at both the cases, Hit save and you see it works just like fine now. We're not getting any weird output of all three outputting, right? Now we can change this to 16 and see that we are still getting 21. So instead of 21, we can say you are less than 22, right? For 18, also it works because it falls down to um, basically when you encounter 18, it falls down to 21 and prints this, breaks out, gets out, right? If you place break at 18, you would see we get no output because once we get to 18, case 18, it breaks out of the statement, right? That's that. And obviously, if we have nothing matching, we get to default and we say you are neither 20 nor 21. We obviously do not need a break for default, right? Because it's the last statement you can see. So it does not really have any anywhere to fall down to. So 
that's all for the switch case I guess I hope you get the idea you can also compare strings here integers boolean stuff like that right so yeah I believe that's it for this video and I'll see you then in the next one